Welcome back to the channel, my friends. Welcome back to another episode right here at Mike's Mods and Customs. Today we got a fantastic episode to show you, so please take a seat, grab yourself a beverage, get comfortable, and enjoy the show. Well, check it out what we have here. So we just got an order in for the store, and I might as well utilize the order to get some content to show you guys while well, we're still in the process of moving. So we're going to do an unboxing of both these cases. So it looks like we got a H case and we have an M case. All right, here we go. Unboxing 2022 M case. So let's see what we got here in this one. Our uh, regular treasure hunt we're searching for is the uh, Warp Speeder. And the super treasure hunt is that purple Mustang. So let's see what we got. We'll get to it. Let's see what's in here. Twenty twenty two M case. I don't see purple jumping out at me, and I don't see pink. I do see pink. I don't see purple. But that's just a quick glance, so who knows? Could be on a second layer, too. All right, so our first three. The red Mazda RX-7. The Cyber Speeder. And the Honda S2000 in red. I think we've seen this in yellow before. Pretty cool. Next up, we have the 69 Chevy pickup truck and the Honda Civic Custom. This one's actually pretty hot. Um, definitely with the customizers. And then we have a 15 Dodge Charger SRT and that EMS Deco. I really kind of wish they didn't put that orange windshield on there. Well, I guess that's where the vac vacuum former would come in if you want to do some customizing, right? Let's see what else we got. That El Camino. The Speed Shop Deco on the side of it. It's really kind of cool. It's a huge engine sticking out of the back. And then we got a couple of, well, one fantasy casting. Fusion Buster. That could definitely be a cool car to use for custom, that engine. And then, hey, look, nobody's seen this before. These are all over every store I think we go to. The purple Batmobile. So, let's see, let's see. The Lotus Sport Elise in yellow. Nice looking car. Front and rear deco. Yeah, it looks it, huh? Yeah. Pretty cool. Lamborghini, Lamborghini. That's a nice looking one. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about that color. It's like a goldish green. Yeah. Not, sorry, not a Lamborghini fan to begin with, but it's cool for the ones that like it. And then we have the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. With the red stripes on the hood and on the roof. And the Ram Chargers. The Hot Wheels Deco. Hemi on the hood. Nice looking car. Let's see. We have the Land Lowrider. Debated yet whether or not I want to try to do a custom on this one or not. Just not really get much into the scene of these cars, but car in itself is pretty cool see what happens sand burner bit of a uh, fantasy casting Baja racer and then we have Kona singing and then orange can't tell if they got a smoked window in there and an orange interior yeah it looks like it might be all orange all out Again, another one of those crazy windows. 
I think it's a smoked window with an in orange interior, though, that makes it look the way it does. <clears throat> the 62 Corvette Gasser. Very nice. Seen quite a few of those. The Dodge Viper RT10 in that Hot Wheels Race Team logo. Very cool. Always like that color. And Lethal Diesel. I've seen this used for uh, several customs. And we have a Lightning Bug. Interesting uh, fantasy casting there. <clears throat> Another custom Honda Civic. And another Mazda RX-7. Let's see what we got here. Another sand burner. Baja truck. And <clears throat> rapid response ambulance. <clears throat> it's definitely an interesting casting. The Nissan Maxima drift car. This one's really unique <clears throat> with the clear hood. So you can see the engine detail in there. The customizers are doing an awesome, awesome job with this thing. Really kind of cool. Seeing a lot of, a lot of cool stuff out there with that one. And let's see, another Challenger, the drift car with the big wing on the back, and 426 Mopar Hemi. Very cool deco. I like that one. Very cool. Another 62 Gasser. And a Mustang. For the Mustang fans, the 2005 Ford Mustang with the Hot Wheels logo. Pretty cool. Almost looks like the nose got bent up or something. The splitter doesn't seem right. Coming up on the end of the first half, we've got the Nissan Leaf Nismo. Pretty interesting car. Wouldn't want to have to uh, deal with that roof in an accident or anything. Snowstormer. Supposed to be a snow track vehicle, but they had to put wheels on it. Kind of mix between a snowmobile and a ski -doo. And another one of those 2015 Dodge Charger SRT EMS vehicles. Drifta. Interesting colors there. And Toyota Supra in red. Black and silver deco on the side. And another one of those Vipers with the Hot Wheels logo. Very cool. Last row for the first half. And we have the Warp Speeder. The Warp Speeder Treasure Hunt. You can see the logo right there in the back. I don't know if you can see that. Can you get yeah, right there? You can just barely see it. Where is it on the car? I already have this in my collection, and honestly, I have no idea where it... Ah, oh, it's right there. You can barely see it on the back quarter there, above the wheel. You gotta see it just in the right way in the light. But that's the uh, regular treasure hunt. And then we have a hot wired. The Rista Rat. Definitely got some custom potential with this one. Very cool. Haven't seen much done with it yet, but I bet you could. All right, so that finishes up the first half. Let's see what's in the second half. Do you see any purple? Purple, purple, purple. I don't see any purple. I don't even see a main line of that car. Hmm. I see some Barbies in there. Ah, there we go. Oh, that, that takes care of things. 2018 Camaro SS. 
nice car. And the supercharged. It's just a generic dragster. And then that tuned 83 Chevy Silverado in red. Creating some different stacks as I'm doing this this time, and I'm trying to keep the fantasy stuff separate to get an idea of another tuned Chevy Silverado. Trying to get an idea of fantasy versus real cars that we get in these cases. The rescue duty. It's like it's a pickup truck with a utility, an oversized utility body on the back. So that could be kind of cool for a custom. And then we have a McLaren. Black with white deco, number 12 on the side. Very cool. Nice looking car there. Sixty-nine Dodge Charger. That metallic gray with orange striping. Very cool. A 71 Lamborghini. This is the main line. This was a super. And hey, look. Another purple Batmobile. Ah, there's purple. Wrong wheels, though. So this would be our super treasure hunt. If it had Spectre Flame purple paint, Flame logo on the back, and Real Rider wheels with chrome tire, chrome whims. Still a nice car, though. And we have another fantasy casting. And we've got another Challenger, the drift car. Very cool. Lethal Diesel. <laughs> so the 69 Camaro convertible, black, and the turtle shell. Oops. And I dropped, I dropped a Nissan Z Proto. Nissan Z Proto. Nice looking car. And a Fusion Buster. Busta. The GMC Hummer. I think we've seen the yellow one earlier. This is the, I'll call it, rustic orange color. Nice. Lightning bug. Another one for the fantasy pile. 70 Chevelle SS wagon. This is one for the cool car pile. <laughs> Nissan Maxima drift car. Again, with that clear hood, wide body, wagon drifter. Pretty cool. We're getting down there. The Honda S2000 in red. Very nice. There's the black Volvo 850 estate wagon. You've seen the green one in the last box we did. And that El Camino, 68 El Camino. Big velocity stacks in the back. A lineup of fantasy stuff. That turtle shell again and the donut drifter. And then we have the Lancia Delta Integral. Pretty nice. X-34 Landspeeder, Star Wars. Seen quite a few of those in the stores. Another 71 Lamborghini. Again, of course, not the Super. And the Nissan Z Proto again in white. Hey, look. 
No, the purple Batmobile. Just what I didn't want. It's definitely helping my fantasy pile catch up. Another Lamborghini in that green. And the Nissan Leaf in blue with black trim. And the last three. Don't. The last three is a Cruise Bruiser. That gasser wagon. I'm not really sure what the car itself was supposed to be, but. And then the Barbie. The Barbie Extra. Two of those. That wraps up this case for our unboxing of the 2022 M case. And thanks for joining me here for another episode here at Mike's Mars and Customs. If you really like what you see here, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and maybe even share it along to a couple of friends of yours. Once again, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you on the next one.